very different this year. Nearly 90,000 Americans will spend Thanksgiving in the hospital. That's a record, and it's a record that has been broken every day for 16 straight days. More than 262,000 Americans have died. That's an unimaginable number of empty chairs at Thanksgiving tables today. 2,297 deaths were reported just yesterday. Health officials think all the signs are there that as bad as it is today, if we don't change our behavior, it will get worse by Christmas. I worry that the Thanksgiving Day surge will then just add into what will become the Christmas surge. Also, we're just getting some information in from the CDC. There's a study, a new study, that estimates that the number of actual coronavirus infections in the United States may be eight times higher than the reported cases. We'll get into that in a moment. Also this morning, breaking overnight, Amy Coney Barrett changing the dynamic of the U.S. Supreme Court. Her vote handing a 5-4 victory to religious groups who sued New York Governor Andrew Cuomo over his coronavirus restrictions. Now, Governor Cuomo, you may recall, tried to limit the number of people who can attend religious services during the pandemic, but the justices ruled that violates the Constitution. We'll have more on that ahead as well. Well, we begin with the pandemic. 